The Olympics is here. Team USA basketball just escaped a crazy, crazy, crazy game against Serbia. They came back from down 17 points and they ended up winning against Serbia 95 to 91. And this was one hell of a game here. I've never been so proud to scream USA, USA, USA in my life. Oh my gosh, man. I've never been so proud of it because this was a beautiful game of basketball here. And I think we all learned two very, very valuable things here watching this game. One is that it's not impossible for Team USA basketball to lose. They're not unbeatable. That's something that, that was very, very clear because all game you were just kind of waiting for Team USA to click in and lock in and really flip things around, but they never really did it. So it was kind of concerning at one point. And it just goes to show like Serbia is a great basketball team as well because they out-rebounded Team USA. They also played great defense, forced a lot of turnovers as well for Team USA basketball. And it wasn't until the fourth quarter when USA really locked in and had to make something happen because it was scary down the stretch. But thankfully, thankfully, we did lock in. So that's the first thing. Team USA is not unbeatable. That's the first lesson that we've learned. So going against France in the next matchup, you, you can't just come in with that chip on your shoulder that it's automatic victory. No, we're not unbeatable. And the second thing here that we've learned is the best talent still resides within the United States of America when it comes to basketball. I'm trying to tell y'all. Because, yes, the game is evolving on a crazy, crazy level. It's evolving at a rapid pace to all around the globe. But I'm telling y'all right now, the GOATs of Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, and LeBron James reminded everybody how great of players we have here in the United States. Because, dog, seeing those three guys come together was just, it was just poetry. It was like the it was like a, your favorite song hearing it for the first time. It was just beautiful watching those three guys that we've compared to each other time after time, game after game, year after year, represent one team. And we were able to cheer for them all. And we seen how great they were. Everybody played the role that they play in the league and that they play so well. LeBron finished with a triple-double, had 16 points, 12 rebounds, 10 assists. Steph Curry made nine three-pointers and finished with 36 points. Kevin Durant coming down the court at the end of the game, hitting a dagger. Oh, my gosh. It was crazy. The cross-cross tween pull-up, it's unstoppable, bro. Whenever, and the more accurate description of what Kevin Durant was doing, Whenever Kevin Durant catches you at the top of the key and he hits you with a, 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 a go left and then cross right, oh my gosh, it's unstoppable. It's unstoppable. Because, they, oh my God, man, it was, just, it was just marvelous to watch this team rally back from 17 and actually win. It was the scare that we've all been like anticipating and wondering if it could happen. But thankfully, Team USA locked in. They were able to get it done. They were able to bring home the win. So, you know, I, I'm very, very proud of them. And this is one of the times, man, you know, a, a, as they say, a lot of BS be happening in the States sometimes. But this is one of those times. During Olympics, boy, everybody be prideful as hell. Everybody be screaming, Team USA, USA, USA. <laughs> so, so it's one of them times for sure, man.